five in... Oh shit, I gotta say something about that. I'm gonna do that in a moment here. Uh, div 5a. Party div time. Doof. Full streams. There we go. Beat Stubings to the punch, and that's all that matters. Hi, guys. Um, damn it, I think he fired someone, so I just get a babe for this. But I will still scum the babe, because it's only 10k, and honestly, you know. Oh no, he didn't fire someone. I was only 90k down to begin with, because I can't math. So. Oh god, dueling, <laughs> dueling party div streams. Um, anyway, how is everyone doing? I know there's a lot of people going on, so this might not be the highest attended stream, but I'll keep it for posterity. Alright, just going back and forth here with Dwigs, who is a, uh... Dwigs, who's a top chap, and I'm actually very excited for this game. Um... He's hoping for a win, but he's hoping to only badly hurt me, which is about what you'd expect. Thanks, 130. Um, much appreciated. I, As you can tell, there's not a lot left of this team versus, you know, a week ago, which is a little bit of a shame, but... But also, what can you do? Um... Ah, <laughs> you want a Pokemon? Earn it. Cat, this is... Cat, this is not the fucking time. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Down we go. Good kitty. Sorry, my cat just parked herself in front of the monitor that Blood Bowl is on. Um, let's think about how I want to do this, because he'll do better in his second life. Um, he might, I mean. We're going to stack the wine here, because uh, I think the, the proper technical term would be YOLO, um, but really what it is, is um, I want to get some removals early on my half, trying to start controlling the pace of the game. Hey! That's a good start. Oh. 
Um, so the good news is because I stacked the wine, this is not an easy steal for him. Um, and because I left my Berserker off the line, the Berserker can swing in and smack a wolf or a ghoul if he decides to get cute here. Um, the bad news is it's still a blitz, and a bad scatter could really start this drive off on an awkward foot. Um, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Pace of the game. Pace of the game, Kappa. Um, the trade-off now is if I wanted, I could actually blitz this... Uh, I could actually blitz this fleshy right now with the Yeti, provided I get good blocks off um, and open up a hole. And that might not be the worst idea to try and take out one of the flesh golems. Um... All right, down he goes. Didn't die immediately, so this is progress. Um, now the question remains. No, he's he's not gonna park a wolf under it. Um, that would be brave but foolish. Oh, he is gonna park a wolf under it. You madman. You absolute madman. Um, yes, yeah, so that wolf's getting pomped. Um, never mind, I'm not blitzing. Not blitzing shit. Oh god, that is... <laughs> that is the best scatter for him. That's real bad. Um, All right. So there's a couple things here. Um, I think the safest thing to do here is bring you... Well, no. If I bring you over here, you just get whacked by the dude. Um, put in the fend here. And I'm putting him in here. And we're going to try to scatter this in a non-shitty manner, is I think how we're going to do this. Just push. That's fine. We got time. Okay. That's not great. I'm not going to lie. Hey! Well, I mean, he's, he, he got better, but that could have... Could have been a lot worse. He's out for the... Uh. How disappointing. We're just going to stick you back right in here. Um, loner needs to come over back this way. Uh, that's a one die. I'll take that last. Yeti. Let's free up some dudes. Oh, let's one in 27. That's a good... Well, at least Claws did a thing, but that's not great. <laughs> hey, but that's two removals on turn one. Uh, it's just... Yeah, so that could have gone better. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> um, but I guess Yeah, I mean the unfortunate thing is he's still going to be able to block off the zerker and he's probably going to free up the ghoul and then he's just going to run into the backfield. Um and possibly kill the zerker in the process. Nope, zerker's okay. Uh zerker can jump up yeah, see, here's the problem. Now the Movement 9 Wolf has the ball, and the Movement 9 Wolf has Blodge, and Doof is a very sad panda. Like a very sad panda. Um, hmm. How can I unfuck this situation? Um, 
At least Bushman leveled, so that's probably Juggernaut for him. Um, or Pro. Kind of on the fence about that. Could be Dauntless also, honestly. Um, I could see that not being a terrible choice. Or hopefully I'll get lucky and roll a stat up, but wouldn't hate a movement up on him. As we are going to... Okay. I'm not sure what he was doing. Oh, I think he wanted to punch a hole. I think he wanted to punch a hole, and there's no way to... He should have just blitzed with the Flesh Golem if he wanted to punch a hole, though. Um... Yeah, je ne, je ne sais pas. Um, that's a nice pal, though. So, I will need to knock down this fleshy. And then I'm assuming my blitz target is going to be... Hmm. Who is my blitz target going to be? It's almost worth just blitzing from the floor with the Yeti and risking the... Well, uh, it would be a one in. It would be a three die into a two die, um, if I wanted to bring this guy over to provide an assist, and then I could jump up blitz here. Let's do the jump up blitz. Let's see. He's gonna stand firm. Yep. Down he goes. We're not gonna pile that on though. We're just going to kind of create a nice little wall here. Take this block. Double pow is very nice. Um, tackle is going to hang right there, actually. I, don't, I can think of worse places for the tackle to sit. Foul. Take the two assist foul on the flesh golem, maybe, and then move the tackle. Nice. Get out. And now I can slide you right in there. I can make this a slightly better foul. That's a 7 plus. I'll take that. Ah, it didn't work, but that's okay. If I just had Dirty Player. <laughs> yeah, the Yeti, the Yeti has actually started to be, you know, consistent in getting removals, but at least he's turning things over in the process of getting removals, you know. Um, so we're going to see the Claw Blitz on AV7, so who gives a shit? <laughs> It does not work. Ah, he has to re-roll it, so... Well, okay. AV7 is still AV7. Um... Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need to bring dudes over. He's far enough back that he can't just gutter runner into space. Um, but this is still obviously a pretty suboptimal uh, situation for me to be in. Boink! Hey! Both whites are out. You know what? <laughs> this could be a lot worse for me. Let's, let's be honest. Let's take a three die on the Frank. Uh, nothing needs to stand up, and I really need to free some dudes up, so that'll do. All right.
I could just one die with uh, obviously no tackle, which is not ideal in that situation, but I don't think I want to. Um, True Blue with 20. Wow, did that... That game ended? I thought that game was, like, still in the first half. Um, no, we're going to surf. We're going to get this guy surf ready. There we go. Um, hey, there's a double skull. Uh, double push is a little bit of a bummer. Do a little sick yo-yo action going on here. Hey, there's regen works again, unfortunately, but... Have I blitzed yet? I haven't blitzed yet. I mean, I guess I might as well, right? <laughs> yeah, this is fine. I've removed five things in three turns. I don't think I can really complain. <laughs> Oh, things went quickly. Um, no, so let's let's talk through what happened in this game. Uh, I got the offense. He got a blitz. He got the ball, and then I killed his team. Um, so far, I have uh, shredded a significant chunk of his team. Um, but he's got the ball in the movement nine werewolf. So you know. Uh, yeah, this is still not the most ideal uh, of situations for me. I really have to be careful because if I make one mistake, he is going to just run it into space and score, and I'm going to be sad. Um, at this point, I think his play is to force me into the backfield and try to make me overextend and then run past me. Now, of course, that guy doesn't get injured. The one guy without regen. Um, that's fine. That's fine. This is fine. Um, this is fine. Don't worry about it. Honestly, KOs are beneficial to me. I think... So I think my blitz is definitely going to be, let's just toss a dude at the wolf. Um, hmm. But before we do that, obviously, we got to do all the safe hits. So we're going to do that. take this three die first. Don't get punished. Might as well. I mean, I'll re-roll this.
Boom. Got it. Sit down, son. All right. So, both touchdowns? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I wonder if... Uh... This is, this is totally reasonable and fair. That is absolutely fair, and I feel only slightly bad that this dude is about to get surfed into oblivion. Uh, I guess he's not, but, you know. Okay, he's just getting removed. So, um... I can three-die this. That should tell you everything you need to know about how this game is going for him. Um. Oh, I've already used my blitz action. Damn it. Well, yeah, no. What can you do? Um, let's pick up the ball. Let's pick up the ball. Fuck it. <laughs> um, we're getting a TD on an Ulf. No, we're not manatee-assing with an ulf. <sighs> nah, I'm not gonna... Oh my god! It's fine. It's fine. Um, Got him. One left, boys. <laughs> oh my god, he made it! <laughs> Beautiful. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, just a stun. This is... Yeah. Nope. Thick Skull does a thing! Thick Skull saves the day for him. Um... 
Yeah, I don't need to do anything else. Um, yeah. Well, that was a half. <laughs> I mean, to be fair. All right, so he's he's going to have a team next half, which is, you know. No, what the fuck are you doing on the line? Actually, wait, you know what? He's movement nine. He can one turn reasonably easily. Um, we are going to... We're going to play the Risk It for the Biscuit game. Um, obviously, this is very less than ideal to have... Um, very less than ideal to have my strength 4 and strength 5 on the line, but all the guard is ideally going to make it harder. <laughs> Unsubbed, unfollowed. Um, yeah, he's going to go for it still. Um, I am... What's up, Vinny? I'm giving up the obviously gangbang foul on something here in exchange for him not one-turning, because if I do beat Dwigs, my playoff hopes are not dead. Um, they're on life support, but they're not dead. High kick. Oh, but he didn't set up for the one-turn anyway. He set up for damage. Um... So... Will AV8 hold. Nope. There's one out. That's a bummer. This may end up being a, um... Hey, yup. Haven't seen you in a while, dude. What's up? You guys had a rivalry? Uh, was this back when you were playing the flings? Um... Good thing he saved that, uh, reroll. Okay, just a stun. Of course, the the big oof would be if the Yeti went down for any appreciable length of time here. Um, he will... Yeah, he'll get a big ol' fucking foul here. Um, yeah, he will. And, yep, I made mistakes by not just letting him take the chance at the one turn. At least... This makes the game more interesting if those don't come back. <laughs> three for three. Hey, but they all came back. And his white doesn't. Strong paint skills, yeah. Uh, that was uh, that was made. I don't know, two years ago at this point, and honestly, I don't feel like putting any more 
ever any more effort into it. Um, so that's that's what you guys get. <laughs> But we are Blood Bowl players. <laughs> I am a Lucker noob. We discriminate against other BB races. I know, right? I mean, this is... If you think about it, the proper Blood Bowl response is this is Dwig's fault for playing Necro and having two movement nine wolves. He made his own bed. But at the same time, I totally recognize and understand the frustration of not being allowed to play Blood Bowl for a half which is essentially what happened to him. Um. <laughs> oh, my. Well, then. He's got the dirty player, so that does benefit him uh, a little bit more than it benefits me. But... Also, go fucking figure. AV8 breaks like it's no going out of style. AV7, completely fine. Just don't even worry about it. Um, I assume we're getting a woofer blitz coming in here. Yes, we are. <laughs> Especially discriminate against the knife ears. Yeah. I don't have a bench, though, is the thing. I have ten players for this game. Uh, Stubing's shredded my team. I'm missing three for this game. Um, it is 11v10. I do have the man advantage here, but... Just get rich. I mean... So by get rich, you mean become a high elf? Is that what you're saying? Um, how aggressive do I want to get here? Because I do have to remember, this guy can still style on me if he wants. What's the safest thing to punch? If I'm one, two, three, four, I can hit this guy. I could also get the Yeti involved if I wanted and just go, you know. Straight for the jugular on this Frank. Um, but that's a 1 in 9 waiting to happen, which would obviously not be okay. But at the same time, you know, that's claw hitting. Claw Mighty Blow hitting AV9 always feels good. So let's set the rest of my team up for failure. Let's uh, smack a flesh golem in the face. And not get punished by a 1 in 9. Just a stun, though. As Thick Skull, not gonna do a thing. Doesn't need to. And we'll bring the Yeti back here safely. And. <laughs> no. It's not worth a three die just for the one assist foul on an already stunned piece. That's that's crazy talk. That's all I need to do, really. Um, yeah, I like that better. I was thinking palming a zombie, but like that, when he has a bribe, he's going to no assist foul anything on my team if he can um, with the dirty player. 
So I cheated a little bit this side. I assume he's going to respond by trying to take this side of the pitch. Um, he can get a hit, obviously, on this ulf here if he wants it. What he could do is he could just slot the guard in here and take two punches with each zombie and then have a blitz somewhere else with the wolf, but... I think, oh yeah, you know what, he's, oh. But he is going to slot the guard back in here. Yep, slot the guard in, and two punches. Wish I had Juggernaut. Could surf this flesh golem, probably. Um... Actually, not quite, because I'd need Juggernaut on both punches. But. Alright. And we survive. So. Alright. This boy right here is going to be our Blitz target. I think it's going to go in with the Ulf. Actually, wait, no. I, that's not a great Blitz target, because there's still a screen. And also, it's not a terrible Blitz target. I think I, I think it's still my Blitz target. Yeah, I'm doing it. More chaos. I will take it, even though it's just a just a Z. Um, that does allow me then to tie up that dude. Just beat self. I. He's too damn smug. <laughs> Oops. Mm, yeah, I'll take a reroll on this. I've got a bribe. Ah, oh, immediate. Well, there goes the bribe, but... Well, it would have been fun, but... This at least forces him to blitz backwards instead of forwards, so... And he burned a reroll, uh, which I honestly, I would have almost considered just taking the double down and then just going in with the ball with a reroll, but I also understand wanting to free the ball up. I think he might be starting to feel the pressure to move forward. Um, That is totally fine. That is more than fine. I'm very happy with the flesh golem being back there. Oh, he's going. He's going central. Um, going back to the center of the pitch is just fine by me. Uh. 
then a last turn attempt to... I don't necessarily hate. Um, obviously, doesn't quite work out for him though. Take the frenzy block here. That's a stun. I bet you would, but... Nope. Did not, you know. Wasn't paying attention. Triple push. Say la vie, and push you back towards the center. Um, you just stay right there. You are doing a very good job. Uh, who is that? Drax's disciple. You're doing a very good job. <laughs> Anything other than human? Humans are born to be killed, too. I mean... Yeah, I mean... I think Dwigs is Dwigs has gone for a lot of hybrid. I know elves, dark elves are dark elves, but they're like the hybridiest of dark elves. I wonder if he just needs a season to play like chaos or something. Just something that will murder and have a grand old time doing it. All right, here comes the commit. In case you're wondering, am I going to greed the block on the wolf? Um, the answer is no. Uh, greeting on the wolf is... Obviously would be fun, but is not going to be... Worth it. In the long run. So... I can hit the ball here. I can hit the ball here. Um, Alright, well, hold on. Step one... Get back there. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Step two. You need to go right here. You need to go right here. Step three. I don't know. I'll probably stand you up and just bring you back around. Let's just go ahead and see if the Yeti behaves. Nope. That's okay. It was worth a shot. Um, okay, so here's the idea. We punch this guy off, we bring him here, and then we just go in. That's good. I can even follow that up with a, a one die, maybe, with the loner, if I feel up to it. If I roll this into a double skull, what's the... Actually, no, I think I do need to re-roll this, because otherwise he just dodges out. And this is safe. Oh, okay, it's a skull, but... Oh, loner! Loner flew too close to the sun. Now I feel dumb. Yeah, I think reroll was the choice there. Just 
Pinned against the sideline, it's tough for him to escape. Not pinned against the sideline, it's a 3-plus dodge out. And honestly, if he makes this and scores this turn, more power to him. I got four turns to answer back, so... I'm just kind of hopeful that he fails the 4-plus or the 3-plus in such a way that dodge does not save him. You're right, he can't score from there. Oh no! Kemri punching bag! <laughs> Dwigs gets Kemri punching bag for the Kemri. And that right there is why I can't scum bank on a wizard. Okay, never mind. He just rolls a four and a three. Um, gets his one die pow. Um, don't fend. I would rather you frenzy into the tackle. Oh. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. Okay, never mind. <laughs> He's just... Doesn't doesn't even matter. Um, boo. Boo! Oh, come on! Okay, good. That's a bummer. Well, he's probably going to score next turn, so I guess I have three turns after that to uh, score back, which is a bummer. Uh, but he made all the dodges, so what can I do? What can I do indeed? There's your KO, 130. He's fine. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, so beautiful.
Actually, you know what's more important right now? This is dumb without doing this first, so. Doing this first. Oh boy. Loner! <laughs> Suck it! That's my last rule gone though, so. Alright. This is potentially giving up serfs, but. Yeah, I, I basically just need to keep fouling this wolf. If I can get him stunned one more turn, and hopefully... Well, hopefully the runner doesn't die here. Ah, that's a bone. That's what I didn't need, regrettably. Um, obviously not worth the... Just a stun, though, so this is fine. Um, yeah, before anything else, I mean, uh, foul this guy. Got it. It is a send off, though, so we're now into spooky territory. Um, because here's, here's the, the line of play for him. Um, block off. Yep, block down that guy. I would have blocked that way to make sure the wolf had freedom. But um, now you come in with howls. You take the surf risk, or you take the red die risk to surf off to you even vape, and you just go to pick up the ball, and you pray. And, you know... Here's the thing. If it works, it works. His regen has been on fucking point, though. Is he going for the... He's going for the foul first, I'm assuming, because he's got a bribe, so... Oh, he's going for the scatter, actually. No, he's not going for the scatter. Okay. <laughs> Yes! No rerolls. Oh, no, one reroll. Alright. Four plus dodge, four plus pickup to tie the game. Yes! And I win. Alrighty. Ah, no good. <laughs> also, I saw he did apologize for being salty, which I totally, you know, I get the, uh, I didn't take any offense to it, and Dwigs is a, for those who haven't seen Dwigs before, he's a wonderful person, and a very good sport, and, you know, everyone gets salty from time to time, so, I totally get it. Uh, no, fuck you. Hey, I got a lineman level, though, so... Um, yeah, 130 is in my div, uh, yep. He's, uh, 
We are the two Norse representatives in 5A, um, and we play each other, I think, in two weeks. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I only held the ball for 18% of that game, somehow. Um, I don't know how, but... Uh, 43 blocks to... which gave me 21 armor breaks, so that was very nice. 8 KOs, 2 Kazes. Two um, although technically... I inflicted more, but his regens were on point. Um, pretty decent. 5, 7, 10, 12. Not, actually, not the greatest haul, but a win is a win is a win. Better armor this time. It held 50% of the time. Um, otherwise, everything went well for me, pretty much. I really can't complain about anything here. Um, my block dice were decent. His were also pretty decent. His armor was worse than mine. A lot of that was claw hits, so that explains it. Um, his KOs were slightly above average. His catches were bad. His dodges were atrocious. Um, his regen was on point, which I think is the only thing. I only got two removals on claw. Um, yeah, no. Um, and Dwigs, thanks for the game. And don't uh, don't worry about it. I That was pretty pretty dicey from me if <laughs> if uh i kind of just the injury dice turned on um it was only one palm removal yeah i didn't actually use the palmer that much um i was using him more as a safety because a i didn't want you to foul him and b with your wolves i needed a tackle piece in the back but um but yeah that was quite the game um so, playoff hopes back alive? Certainly on a lot more alive than they were after uh, Stubings just kind of shredded me. Um, and the team's back, so we have a full team. Um, let's do the levels real quick. We can do them live. Um, uh, is it just not enjoying it at this point? Because it's, like it's, it's a pretty solid Necro team, obviously, minus the crazy shenanigans that you see a lot of rebel necro teams have but it's like alive at least um burnout yeah i i mean it might just be burnout okay that's a normal so i'm actually going to hold on that because i'm i'm kind of bouncing between pro juggernaut and pro and juggernaut um could maybe do guard but honestly this guy spends most of his time on the ground so i don't know how good guard is going to be on him. Um, so I'll sit on that one. Um, and then Ghirardelli's. Let's see what you get. A nine. That's not... Well, you're my dirty player. Congratulations. Actually, what am I saying? A normal's perfectly fine, because now I finally have a dirty player. Um, pass block. Paradox definitely planning for the future if he and I ever up and end up in a div together. Um... Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know if he's going to be the dedicated surfer. I think the strength four guy is going to be the dedicated surfer. Like, he's getting Juggernaut stand firm as his next two levels. Um, because look at him. He's a strength four berserker. Um, yeah, I think it's it's pro or dauntless. Um, but this guy's a ways away from Juggernaut. Because, I, I mean, he's 15 SPP away. He's not that far, but... He doesn't uh, hit too much, so... Anyway, um, I am stalling long enough. Uh, everybody who joined in, True Blue for the raid, thank you very much. Herviuk, I see, followed as well, um, and I didn't say anything because I was paying attention to the game, so I'm sorry about missing that, Herviuk. And thank you for the follow. It does mean a lot. Uh, a good friend of mine, L-Shaped, just went live, so... We are going to raid her. So I hope you guys Almost enjoy there. L's uh, channel. It's excellent. Um, and I will see you next time. So long. Farewell.